Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Now, most kids that I know really love to draw. My friend Bella, she drew this beautiful snowman. My other friend Catherine drew this snowman. And using science, we can take our artwork to a whole different level. We're going to zoom in and you're going to see that hidden inside these snowflakes is a bulb and we're going to use science to light those up. We've zoomed in a little bit so you can get a better look at our snowflake. Now I'm going to add this battery to the science that we have going on behind our picture to see what happens. Here we go. Check this out. And there we go. Our snowflake just lit up because we have some really cool science going on behind our picture. Let's see if Catherine's snowman can light up too. And there we have a nice yellow snowflake. Way to go, Catherine. So how did we do that? Well, first, let's start with the light bulb. We use the special LED light bulb that doesn't need a lot of energy to light up. And you can actually buy a pack of a whole bunch of these light bulbs that come in all different colors. We're gonna zoom in so you can take a closer look at this LED light bulb. So I have my LED light bulb right here, and I have my battery right here. And all light bulbs need electricity to light up, and the electricity is in my battery. So now, let's take my battery and attach it to my light bulb, and you can see that it lights up. Now notice with my light bulb, I have two wires coming out of the light bulb, and one wire is connected to one side of the battery, and another wire is connected to the other side of the battery. So we have our light bulb, we have our battery, now all we need is a path for that electricity to follow, and scientists call that path a circuit. So let's flip our papers over and see if we can see the science that made our light bulb work. So what do I see? Well, it looks like I have some kind of metal foil tape. I always thought electricity needed to flow through wires and things like that. Well, not necessarily. Electricity can flow through anything that allows it to flow. Scientists call that conducting. Now remember how each wire coming out of our light bulb had to be connected to a different side of the battery. Well, that's what has to happen in our pathways behind our picture. My light bulb's right here and it's hard to see. And I have one path of foil tape connected to one side of the light bulb and I have another path of foil tape connected to the other side of the wire coming out of the light bulb. Now I need to connect each arm of these pathways to different sides of the battery. Well, how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna take the bottom of the battery, put it on that side, and now how do I connect that, that arm or that pathway to this side of the battery? All I have to do is fold it over. Let's fold it over and watch our light bulb light up. And there we have our pathway, our circuit, our light bulb. So now we're going to talk about how do you make your own. The materials might seem complicated, but they're really easy to find. This foil tape you can find in any home center. A scissors, a pencil, the battery, any office supply store should carry these batteries. And we've actually linked to where you can get these light bulbs in the video description of our video. Of course, we need paper to make our path. So here we go. We're gonna start by showing you a very simple path to make or circuit to start off so that you know you're gonna get this right. Now if you remember, I had to fold over the corner of the paper to make contact on both sides of the battery. So I'm gonna do that first. Fold over a corner of the paper. That's the part I'm gonna fold over. I'm gonna put a little circle that tells me where the battery's gonna go. That's gonna be the top side of the battery. That's gonna be the bottom side of the battery. The battery will sit there and when I fold the paper over, it lines up. Now I'm going to put little sides that tell me what side of the battery to put down. Because a battery has two different sides. There's a positive side and a negative side. And that's going to be important in our pathway. Now all I'm going to do is just draw my pathway. So I'm going to draw one line and I'm going to draw another line. And hopefully I'm going to put my light bulb right across them and my light bulb will complete that circuit and it should light up when I fold it down. So now I've cut my foil tape into strips and the nice thing about this foil tape is I can make my, my strips wide or I can make them thin. I'm gonna use wider ones. Now getting the back off of the foil tape is a little tricky. I find to do the same thing as the paper, see how I bent the corner of the paper over? 
I like to just bend a corner of the foil tape over and getting it started it's a whole lot easier. Now I just have to peel off the back. That side of the foil tape is sticky so you want to be careful. Make sure I'm going to go right into the center of my circle so I know it's going to contact that battery. Now all I do is smooth out the tape. That's one leg. Let's do the other leg. Now I have my other foil tape ready and I'm going to make the other pathway. So now I have two different pathways that I need to connect. The battery is going to connect that side of the pathway and now the light bulb needs to connect that. So I have my light bulb, my two wires I'm going to separate by bending them just a little bit and here's the interesting part. So we've zoomed in on one of our light bulbs and just like our battery has a positive and negative side, our LED light bulb actually has a positive wire and a negative wire. Do you see how one wire is longer than the other one? Well, the longer wire is the positive side. The shorter one is the negative side. So when I line up my light bulb in my pathway in my circuit, it has to be matched up. So we're back at the light bulb that's not lighting up. Well, I, th I think that I have the wrong side of the light bulb lined up with my pathway. So if I spin it around, now let's make our connection with our battery and see if we can get it to light up. And what do you know? It lights up. It didn't light up at first, and we were able to figure it out. A Cowboys football helmet with the star lighting up with the light bulb. Take a look at that pathway. Another football team with the light right there in the eye of the ram. You can see those pathways. And then we're going to go even more complicated. I have fireflies in a jar. Let's see if we can get these to light up because our pathway is really complicated. And now our fireflies are blinking and lighting all because we have light bulbs, batteries, and a pathway for that electricity to follow called the circuit. So why don't you try making one of these all on your own and let us know how it turns out. Let us know how you do in the comment section under our video. And if you run into trouble, feel free to ask us a question. We'd love to help you out. If you want to learn more about electricity or circuits, check out our links in the video description. Science is so cool and it can brighten your future. Thanks for watching.